Hello there friends, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Trina and in today's video, it is a bit different compared to my journaling stuff because in today's video, I will be showing you all of the um, items that I have crocheted all throughout the month of April and some actually just finished in April so I have like two bags of finished stuff uh, with me here to the side that I will share with you and most of these items actually are going up at our um, my brother's Shopee um, shop account, what do you call that? Um, I will have my little crafty corner there um, just so I have the space to sell all the items that I have here um, for today. I'm actually filming this part of the video way in advance. It is April 17th currently. However, I would just like to um, show this in video uh, while all of the stuff are out because I was taking um, pictures for listings and I might do a part two in the same video once I make uh, more near the end of the month. So the first one that I'm actually showing you is um, quite big because I'm going to return this to my father. Um, this is um, four by, it's a four by four square, like a patchwork blanket. Um, this actually is from a project that I frogged like a year ago when I started out with um, my crocheting journey. Um, I started in May and I wanted to like, um, it was very popular during that time, like the Harry Styles patchwork cardigan. And I wanted to make one um, to wear for myself, um, like something um, I would be proud of wearing. Like I made this for the first time, crocheting for the first time. However, I realized that um, the yarn that I was using is actually very bulky and as a person who doesn't like heat that much and I really adore like cold weather um, I'd rather not put on layers um, And this was very heavy. This is already a 4x4 um, Patchwork uh, I've sewn just recently uh, in April because I was supposed to like unravel all of these squares But my mom said like it was a waste of effort. So why not just um sew it up and make it like a cover for um, my dad's laptop. So that is what I did. Um, I will show you at the back, it's very dirty, but it is like my first time sewing up um, sections of um, crochet squares. This is, I think, um, double crochet, like double crochet stitches. Um, and yeah, I used four different types of yarn. Um, these two are like, I can't really remember because of the labels. I should have kept the labels. But um, these are milk cotton yarns. As far as I know, these are maroon, white, like a beige, and a mix of red and black. And that is all I could remember. I just got all of my yarn off of Shopee. Um, and this is the first like um, big blanket type that I have made. And it's for my dad's um, laptop cover. So that's the first one. I will quickly return this to his table before I proceed to the next. The next one I just shoved here in a paper bag. And these are the items that I'm actually going to sell online. So first off, I'm just going to show this. This is not from my, um, what do you call this? Or should I put this? I'm standing up now. So um, this I didn't finish in April actually, but since this is a video that I intended to be like a shop update sort of video, so I would like to include this. Um, these are dice pouches that I made last um, February, I think. These are the only colors that I have created um, dice pouches that could fit like two to three um, die sets for D&D &D and other um games board games that would have dice you could put like mini items and trinkets here as well um, it's machine washable milk cotton and i've already washed one of these just to try it out make sure it doesn't um flare or whatever in the wash so i tried it out it's still intact and still fine um, i have like a navy a beige light brown um, sky blue and a black one so I call these uh, dumpling dice pouches in the listings, and that is what my brother calls them. So that is the first item that I have for um, sale. The next one, the next one I have here is something that I have always been um, making. I found a tutorial online and would like to share those who don't uh, do crochet and would like to have one of these. And I have like, and I have like made it a point to. 
um, try and see how I can make it into a keychain without um, the cost of like too much of the hardware. And so this is a Dodoko keychain. And I think this is the most durable one that I've made. So I've been making these um, Dodoko keychains for my friends and my cousins. And this is also one of the items that I will be adding to the shop. I have like a ball chain for it instead of like lobster claw because I don't really have the materials or the tools. I'm like really working from um, zero up sort of situation, working with what I can. And so that is one. And the other plushie that I made for the shop is actually a, quite a big one. It's like a ragdoll rabbit and it is in the color beige. No tail, however, because there was no tail in the pattern. So the pattern wanted it actually to be um, like the bunny ears to be up top, but I wanted it to be like droopy eared. And it reminds me of those um, rag dolls that little children in medieval times would carry. So like, I don't know if anyone would want these, um, but I have it uh, on the shop if anyone is interested. And I think it's very cute. Um, and it is like the first like bigger um, plush dolls that I have made. And I'm actually very nervous about sewing these up because I'm not exactly a good, um, what do you call it, sewist. Um, so I was very nervous about uh, sewing up all of the different parts of the bunny. But what I'm confident about is actually making coasters. So these are plain coasters. Um, I only made like three colors. I don't know yet if... I'm sorry if I keep bumping up the camera um, as I set this up. I don't know if people would like these sorts of um, coasters. Um, I made one in maroon, one in like um, pine green. I don't know what, oh, or rather emerald green. It's like darker green and then one in white. And I chose these three colors just out of a whim. However, later did I realize that these colors are actually the colors of my alma mater in college. So in a way, it is like a, um, what do you call that? Um, it wasn't intentional, but it was ingrained in my uh, memories and my likes. That is why that uh, I gravitated towards these colors because in reality, these are like also my favorites of all of the yarn that I have. I have a cup here. This is my brother's mug and, and it fits just like that. So um, if you're looking for like simple coasters, these are available and I'm thinking of... Um, Excuse me as I return the mug to the side. I'm thinking of adding more colors. However, I'm not sure yet um, because one of the other projects that I am um, doing might use up quite a lot of yarn. The next one I have here. This is one. That, uh, this is the one that I have made quite a lot of actually. I have four sets of the sunflower coasters. I made a big one and a small one. So I sell this. Uh, I will sell this. Uh, individually and also as a set for a cheaper price um, I also said it was like one for your teapot and one for your teacup size um, I will get the mug again just for size comparison so it's like perfectly in the circle for the small size and if you want to see a bit of the brown when you put your cup in you can get the bigger sized one so yeah I have eight sets of these so like I will see how um, the um, response is with these because these are fairly easy and quick to make for me actually so if there is a market for it I will make more of it and I still have these yarns anyway and lastly is um, I have it in this bag um, this is uh, the project that I have been working on for the past weekend and for the past two days, I have made seven of these already. And these are scrunchies. I made um, Genshin Impact inspired scrunchies, um, the color scheme at least. And hold on, I will show you something first. So this is actually the first iteration of the scrunchies that I was supposed to sell uh, at the shop. However, these eat up too much yarn for my taste. Like for this one, the bigger one, which is like um, 17 half double crocheted one, 
actually used up like most of one skein of yarn while the uh, 13 half double crochet ones that I adjusted used up like uh, three-fourths of a skein or a bit less than that so um, after I sewed this up and to be honest I was really bored at making like continuous half double crochets it wasn't that interesting and also the end product is kind of like very uh, tight so I didn't like this as much so I looked for another pattern and found these um, ruffle scrunchies and decided that since it like is a two colored one Genshin Impact inspired theme colors for characters like this one, the red and purple one is for Scaramouche, the beige and red one is for Kazuha, white and maroon for Heizo, um, blue, like baby blue, and white is for Chongyun. This one is for Albedo. It is. It looks white uh, on camera for me, but it's like an off-white that matches his um, coat and then the blue that is for his uh, the inner uh, shirt. This one... Um, this is like copium actually. I was supposed to put this up for Tinari. However, Tinari's um, hair is a darker shade of uh, green and a neon shade of green for um, his bangs, the middle one that is um, bright green. So instead, the closest one, it is not actually the same color as in the camera. I don't know how to adjust my camera color, but um, it is more of an army green rather than this sort of grassy green that can be seen in camera. Um, but it is like close enough to Kole's color. So this is now Kole and I have these two tone yellow gold um, This is for Goro. So I still have like other ideas for color combinations for these Oops, adjust the camera uh, other color combinations for these so I will probably adding I will be probably adding more as I go um, however, these are the ones that I have uh, going to the shop maybe at the end of April. Um, I'm making this like the short boys pack um, and I will be doing more of the girls afterwards. I have like, I'm going to make a, a Klee one, a Yoimiya one. I don't have, the, the problem is with my stash that I've noticed is that I don't have pinks. I don't have pinks at all. So I have like uh, in my cart a bunch of like pink, silver, um, baby blue, teal. So that is like for, uh, and also the light purple for Yeimiko, uh, Raiden Shogun. I have the correct um, green for Tinari as well as for Nahida. I have a darker brown or chocolate brown for Zhongli. Um, the correct uh, teal, I was supposed to put this for Wanderer, but um, as a Wanderer main, this is not the correct blue for him. So I have in my cart the proper turquoise um, that is the same as his outfit. And... Yeah, so far, these are the seven that I have going to the shop at the end of April, and uh, I will be adding more and will probably add the clips at the end of this video uh, when I finished it. And lastly, I have one more. This one is not coming to the shop because this is actually a gift for my friend. I could now show this actually on camera because I'm thinking of posting this like on April 30th. And her birthday is April 29th. So I'm going to show this to her. She's in Manila. I'm in Iloilo City. So it's like far away. So I will show her a video of this when uh, it's her birthday. But it is tiny, chunky dinos. She really adores dinosaurs. She loves dinosaurs so much. So I decided to like crochet her like... Um, she really also likes, uh, is it Luxiem? Am I, am I thinking of this wrong? She, she likes Luca and also Shoto. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning it now because, oh no. But if I'm wrong, but it's the purple one and also Luca for yellow. So it's, the idea is like, I made this first. This is like a pastel yellow. I, I can't. Uh, this is a pastel yellow and I made it very why is it not focusing? It, I made it very small because I use a smaller yarn and a smaller um, tip size for my, uh, or needle size rather, for my crochet hook. And I decided to make this like a keychain for her to bring along in her bag and made a bigger, plushier one um, for her to stay at home, uh, to come home to. That is quite the idea for this. So yeah, these are gifts for my friend. So yeah, these are all of the... Uh, items that I have crocheted for the month of April part one minus the patchwork um, laptop cover I am not taking that out again and yeah so this is part one 
of this video and hopefully I will be making more scrunchies of different colors um, near the end of April. So that is it for now and I will leave you to part two. Okay, I am not in my usual filming space and this also is the different tripod, but I will just like to quickly include this in the video. I have here two mini dinos, one in purple and one in black. This is actually a custom order from a friend of mine. I don't intend to do custom orders in the future with all of the yarn things that I will be doing in Shopee because it gets overwhelming real quickly and um, I do like to make it as much as I can that um, the things that I make I actually enjoy doing and hope that some people would enjoy as well. So this is why I have these two. Um, these are the only ones that I will probably have customs of and also my first custom, uh, my first customer rather. Um, yeah, uh, I am including this now informally because I will be packaging this uh, for the next time my friend and I um, come across each other because it's rare oops it is uh, rare that we could see each other except during like anime conventions so yeah two more baby dinos for the month of April so today is May the 1st so um, I'm going to show the last of the finished objects that I have done for the month of April I think um, this is probably the biggest like crochet month that I ever had in my entire life. Granted, I've only been crocheting for like almost a year now because I started last year in May, um, around May twentieth, I think is my um, first go at crocheting. So anyway, uh, I have here two uh, tassel bookmarks. These are meant to be freebies for when someone purchases from the shop at in a certain amount. And I just made two just for now because I don't think um, people are availing that much. But I just want to have I just want to have something at the ready uh, whenever someone does. Cross fingers. I'm always praying for sales. Um, the next one I have here is actually two of the same items, only of a different size. I have made uh, crochet bucket hats. Uh, one is a one is a size smaller, uh, which is for my aunt. She wanted one as well because I didn't have the confidence yet to make hats. Uh, the story behind this is that my friend wanted to commission a like beanie hat, but I wasn't that confident yet um, to make one. So I just uh, wanted to practice at first. I made like this uh, because I found a tutorial online on uh, YouTube and it was fairly simple. Um, I did it as neatly as I could. And I think my aunt's was 13 um, rows, while mine was like 15 rows. So it's like just a few rows uh, larger. And um, I just wanted to film this so that I could give it to her uh, and for her to use it. So those are the other two finished objects. They're fairly um, quick to make. Like It took me like two days um, to finish one. And the last one actually here is a very big one. I don't know if I can fit it in frame, but it is a crochet scrap basket. So I have accumulated a lot of scraps, both 8 ply 100 grams um, skeins, as well as my 4 ply 50 grams and 5 ply 40 grams. It's kind of um, chaotic that way, but I have made this uh, from scraps, mostly from scraps. And uh, I kind of made a oopsie here because I noticed that the bottom part, uh, color-wise, is much prettier than the ones on the sides. Um, but yeah, uh, it is a very large uh, scrap basket wherein I didn't even mind sewing up these because it kind of adds character and the scrappiness. But I placed here, this is actually the very first thing I crocheted back when I started. And it's like, this is the first one and this is where we are now. Uh, sort of situation. Uh, so this is the basket and the pattern only calls for this with the handle but I decided to add a top. Like um, it's flimsy right now because it doesn't have anything in it but I put here like um, my current projects as well as some other stuff so it closes very uh, well anyway and also uh, not only was this no longer a scrap project uh, because for this top part I actually use uh, for this part and the top part, I actually used two of my uh, 100 grams 8 ply skeins that are brand new. 
um, and touch on a few other colors. Like I finished the yellow one, I finished this um, red one with black, and I touched on the lavender one as well as the blue one. Um, what I did here was actually combine two colors, like um, the eight ply was the red one, and then I added like the mint color, um, 40, uh, four ply, 50 grams, just like that. Um, it was fairly uh, quick to make as well. <laughs> uh, I was so motivated to do this, like I did it for hours on end, which was a bad idea because the next day I actually got my like hand cramp. Uh, so that was a um, bad idea. Um, we really need to like rest a bit um, for every time. I didn't even sew this up yet. But anyway, um, whenever you do a project like this that is very uh, um, monotonous, uh, with the hand movements, you really need to rest. Um, I had my hand cramped for like a day, it really hurt, but that's fine. Uh, I'm okay now so I can make another uh, project. I have these actually in here because there was this person who wrote a blog wherein um, you could actually use chopsticks as knitting needles if you are like a beginner and just wanted to try it out before buying any expensive needle. Um, this snagged on the yarn uh, way too much because it's not smooth enough so I'm like, no, I, <laughs> I bought needles. So yeah, that is all of the finished objects that I have for the month of April. Oh yeah, and before I talk about any of the other finished objects that I have done for the month of April, I will flash on screen like a few pictures because my brain actually forgot that I made these. These are like um, crochet coasters um, that I made for my aunt and my grandmother. Um, most are pot holders because they're bigger than regular size coasters, but yeah, those are um, part, but I've already gave them away. Uh, half of them are already in Canada, so I have no way of showing it here. So yeah. But I do want to sneak this in. This is like my project bag now. Uh, this is a uh, project that I've started um, after I did the second bucket hat. And it is a shawl pattern by Joanna Lindahl. I found this on Ravelry um, uh, from Miho Crochet. This is uh, called Secret Paths. Uh, it's a shawl pattern. Uh, I will try to link it down below if you're interested. Um, this uh, project uh, with the popcorn stitches got me really um, challenged, I should say. Like this is the first like actual project that I have to read a pattern from uh, rather than watching someone make something on uh, YouTube on a video. That is why it's like very weird looking. But it is my first time making an actual shawl. Uh, it has front post double stitches and back post double stitches. And I kind of like that I transitioned every time there is a back post double stitch. So it has like that uh, color in the middle. I kind of regretted not doing that here because I, at first, of course, I didn't know um, how to make it or what it looks like if I made it compared to the one in the pictures. However, um, I think if ever I'm going to go back, I'll just add like uh, slip stitches. But the problem is that uh, this area needs to get like the same color as the inside, so maybe I'll just leave it. It's in the neck part anyway. Um, and also, uh, I change um, my crochet hook uh, right after, I think, the popcorn stitch. I was using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. That's why the tension is kind of a bit too tight here. Um, so I decided to just change into a 4 millimeter, which I always use as my favorite um, hook for this yarn. I will show you the colors of the yarn. Um, this is the brand that I'm using actually, I just found it off of Shopee. This is like a um, pastel yellow. They don't have lot numbers or names in their packaging, that's why it's kind of difficult for me to buy again if it's a different shop that's a lot cheaper. Um, however, this one has a color, it's called Mugwort Green. This is what I use for this part. I only introduced it here because I'm going to be using this for the border because I only have one skein of this and I don't know if I am able to make a border out of like three-fourths of a skein, but we'll see. Um, another brand that I have here is this one. This is So this is my 4-ply 50-gram ball and this is my 5-ply 40-gram ball. So this is a lot thicker and um, fluffier. However, it's of... Uh, it's of course a lot um, smaller when it cramps to yardage, but this is also my main color um, It is this one that I made popcorn of and also this this was supposed to be my main color And I only have one skein of it um, I looked through uh, Shopee again to find more in case I needed to make my shawl bigger or like I'm going to make this a scarf So I don't think I need that much 
I was thinking that maybe I will buy more of the green to make it larger. However, I was thinking that maybe uh, since I'm making this like from stash, so I was planning uh, since I'm making this from stash anyway, and the point of this is that I should not buy any more yarn. I decided to like once I finish this, I'm going to transition to the um, pastel yellow that will correspond with this one so that it's kind of cohesive. Like there is one spot wherein it's like this as well because I have one more skein of the um, light um, yellow. Because at first, I wanted to actually add this color. However, the more I look at it, it doesn't match with the others. Like, let me move this first. It doesn't go with the others, even though this is also a green. Um, this is more blue, and the others are more warm, towards the warm tone. That's why um, I lack a skein for this one because I'm not using this one anymore. So yeah, that is the plan. If ever I run out of this one, I'll just transition to a whole lot of the light uh, pastel yellow. And also for the color scheme, I was thinking that maybe this is sort of like an adventurer's um, color scheme. But then I will just insert a picture. Um, if you're from the Philippines, you know this. It looks like sour cream and onion piatos, which is actually my favorite chips um, to snack on ever since I was young. So maybe that is where I got this color scheme from, why I gravitate toward it. But yeah, I think I only have like one more repeat, like one more popcorn after this, um, like I will popcorn here, change to green again, do these two, transition to the yellow and popcorn one more time, and then it's, uh, maybe fit enough for the edging because as it is now, uh, this can go over my neck if I do it like that. Um, but yeah, I need some more length to be able to tie it around my neck or like loop it at the back. So yeah, this is the project that I want to work on for the month of May if I can. And I also have uh, knitting supplies coming up in the mail in the future, like maybe two or three weeks. So that's another adventure for another time. I said I wasn't going to buy any more yarn and yet here I am buying like eight balls of cotton. Like four of them is like bamboo cotton yarn, I think it's called. And the other four is like uh, cotton mixed with acrylic because I assume that's the best for knitting. I'm not sure. Uh, fairly new to it. But yeah, after one year, it feels like after a year of crocheting, I am going to try to dip my toes into knitting. We'll see if it doesn't work, then crocheting it is for me. So yeah. So yeah, that is all of my finished projects for the month of April. Um, I think it's only going to get downhill from here because uh, the best that I could do crochet-wise and also, after a year of crocheting, um, I'm going to dip my toes into knitting. We'll see uh, how that adventure unfolds. Now, um, I'm going to talk stats. This is basically for me. Um, but if you're also curious, this is how I lay out my spreads. I started out... Let me zoom in just a little bit. So I have um, started out with 59 skeins. This is not necessarily all 50 gram balls because... Um, this is how I divide them. The milk cotton, 100 grams, 8 ply. Milk cotton, 50 grams, 4 ply. 40 grams, 5 ply. And acrylic high bulk. So I mainly use acrylic high bulk uh, on my scrap uh, basket because I really hate the feeling of um, the yarn on my skin. It was very rough and very, um, very um, textured. That is why I really hated on. I really hated it on my skin, so I used up all of that's left, the seven skeins that I have like hoarded, and I was planning to make it as a stuffing, but then um, decided uh, to use it in the scrap basket um, because they are full balls of, um, I don't know, it's maybe 30 grams? It's kind of a small ball, but it's still a lot. So I finished seven of those for the milk cotton um, 40 grams 5 ply, this one, I finished six of them. Uh, some of these are with my um, hair ties and um, yeah, most of these actually are with my scrunchies. Uh, this one is with mostly, this is from the bucket hat, that's why I consume four and a half. Like uh, two and a quarter for each of the bucket hat. Um, this is for my sunflower coasters. And then with the 100 grams one, it's mostly with the crochet ragdoll bunny as well as the scrap um, basket and also some of the plushies that I've made uh, previously for friends. And so I started with 59 uh, balls of yarn. I used up 27 and a half of them and my ending count is 31.5 um, 
skeins of uh, yarn. And already, um, I did not count whatever I have used up in this yet because I'm counting this towards the May um, once this is finished. If I finish it in May, that is. So whenever I finish this, that is when I count the yarn that I have consumed. Um, but spoiler alert, I have consumed one and a half skeins of yarn already for this. But yeah. Um, and then here are the projects that I've finished. This is how I write it down. Um, like what I made, how many, and whether it is for a GIF um, or a commission, who is it for, my hair ties. I just made notes here, like how many skeins I used and how many rounds. Uh, just so I have an idea that is my way of noting it down. And so yeah, this is my simple way of writing it. And also, I think I have written it here. Yeah, this is my yarn stash that is left. The 31 and a half. Um, there's still quite a lot. And of course, I have knocked down some of these. Other, I have knocked out some of these already. Like one of the pastel yellows is only a half left. One of the dark green is already gone. So yeah, I am transferring this information to my next journal. And we'll see if ever I make another video for the month of May. Because uh, I might end up just using just one. Or like making just one project. Uh, but we'll see. And yeah, so that is it. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for um, uh, going through with all of the um, finished objects that I have done for the month of April. And I hope you enjoyed. So that is it. Thank you so much again. Take care and bye-bye. <laughs>